All right, so let's go ahead and open up our project into VS Code, and then we'll activate the virtual environment and run the development server. All of these things are incredibly common, so I wanted at least one video on how to show you how to do that. Now, inside of VS Code itself, there's a number of ways to actually open up the project. There's open folder, and also if you had the welcome screen on there, you could open the folder there. Oftentimes, it'll be in your recently updated or opened, and then also inside of file and open, open workspace, open recent. So there's definitely a lot of ways on how to open it right in VS Code. So definitely experiment with that on your own. Now, another way, a very common way that I do is actually going into the project itself inside of the file explorer if you're on Windows or the finder if you're on Mac and just really navigating to that project and then opening it up right here in that file. That's another way to actually open it. And yet another way is inside of the terminal or PowerShell, depending on what system you're on, and navigating into that project and doing code period. That actually opens up VS Code for you as well for that particular folder, and it will use the code workspace file if you have one. So that was a few different ways on how you can open it up. Now, I'm not gonna do that ever again. So you'll literally never see me open up VS Code again, most likely. So we'll go ahead and now use the terminal application or the command line. Now we need to use the command line to actually activate that virtual environment and run our development server. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually minimize the terminal application or the command line in this case. And what I wanna do is open this up, but you might see it like this. You might be like, hey, how do I actually open up that terminal? It's really simple. Up here, you'll see terminal. You'll click on that. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a new terminal here. Again, this is another thing that you're gonna to wanna to practice and play around with inside of VS Code. These are kind of specific to VS Code. So we'll open up that new terminal window here. And there we go. So I have a terminal open. Notice that I have a ZSH. That stands for Z shell. There are other kinds of terminals out there. If you're on Windows, for example, yours will say PowerShell, uh, but it most likely will still say terminal. It won't necessarily say command line, although command line and terminal are often interchanged when developers are talking about this, this actual single command line. Like we don't use our mouse here. We just write out a bunch of commands, thus the command line. Um, and so now we just need to activate our virtual environment. Hopefully if you did all the setup, you've already done this many times. So we'll just go ahead and do source bin slash activate for Mac and Linux users. And then if you're on Windows, it's dot slash script slash activate, just like that. And that will create this virtual environment for you. Now, if we ever need to close out this terminal, we can just hit this trash can right here. And the location of that has changed over time, but that trash can is really useful. Notice how I actually really quickly opened up this terminal. In fact, I'm toggling it uh, open and closed. What I'm doing is I'm using the keyboard, the keyboard shortcut, and that is using either tilde or backtick, whichever you wanna look at it as, and control at the same time. So control, tilde, or control backtick, much like it says right here, which is control and backtick. So that's actually how we can toggle that terminal open. Okay, so now that we've got this open and we have a virtual environment activated, I just wanna make sure I'm in the root of the Django project where manage.py is. I will definitely reference the root of the Django project a lot. So even if you don't remember it right now, it's okay. Uh, we just wanna know we're right next to manage.py and I can actually run Python manage.py run server. We hit enter and this is gonna be the first time you've ran a development server in Django. So as we see here, it says starting development server. This means just in development, just as you're building your project. It does not mean in production. We will absolutely get to the live stuff later in this series. But for now, we've got our development server and notice we have a web page here. So this is often referred to as a local host. That means your actual web page. And if we actually hit command click on Mac and Linux or Linux doesn't have command, but if you hit command click, as it says right there, you can actually open up this link in your browser of choice. I'm gonna be using Chrome throughout this one. Uh, and I believe it's control click if you're on Windows. Um, of course, you could always just copy and paste this too. This is a URL that you're probably gonna to wanna to keep and remember, right? So that's it. I mean, that's all we needed to do here was open up VS Code, 
activate our virtual environment and run server. So just as a recap, if I wanted to close out this development server, notice it says control C, that's gonna be true for all systems. So if I run control C and refresh in here, the development server is down, therefore the website is down. So let me just close out that terminal and just do it again really fast with source bin slash activate. So virtual environment activation and then python manage.py run server. And what do you know, it's back there. And then if I refresh in here, it's actually running again. And if I close this out with control C, it stops running. And of course this also works inside of our terminal. So if I actually activated the terminal and ran this as well, it will absolutely run here, right? And this is often the preferred method for professional developers is to actually just use the terminal itself, the actual terminal application, not the one inside of VS Code. And that's also true for PowerShell if you're on Windows. Uh, but the general idea is running this development server is a Python command with Django. So it has nothing to do with terminal. It has nothing to do with VS Code or any text editor for that matter. The text editor is just gonna help us shortcut to doing these things, to actually running the development servers. And when I say shortcut, one of the examples is this link right here. If I hit control click on it, it, well, may or may not actually open, right? So it really depends on the system yourself that you are using. So in this case, it actually is working these days, but it didn't used to. Um, and so anyways, that is actually activating our virtual environment and running the server. Now that we have this, it's time to, well, what do I need to do here? I don't want this page. This is just showing me that Django works, which is really cool that Django works. I'm stoked that it works, but it's not really what we are after here. We're after building our own stuff. So let's go ahead and create the means necessary to change what this page looks like.